Never can Behold, the Virgin Islands dwarf gecko. It is one of the smallest terrestrial vertebrates. Blessed gecko. He's got bones in there. Ugh, 80% of the ocean is unexplored by you guys. I've seen the whole thing. I'm scarred for life. It's psychological horror to you. To me, it's a rom-com. That's a fun way of looking at things like Freddy versus Jason. Hey, bad news. I tucked your boyfriend in so warm and cozy he's snoring like a cartoon mouse. Yeah, it sounds like... <laughs> yeah, there's a little feather floating over his mouth, too. Sorry. I have three modes of reading. Don't read. Read a 500-page book in a day. And read only fan fiction until my eyeballs drop out of my skull from exhaustion. Hate it. Two arrows platonically married for financial reasons. Call that friends with tax benefits. Whenever I see a bunch of posts about one piece of media on my dash, I know one of my mutuals just got a new obsession. If you're reading this, I hope you realize this is about you, but also that I mean no harm. Simply noticing a pattern and putting barely any more thought into it beyond that. Seriously. Fuck being in a PMC more video. I want to be in an AMC more video where it's the most relaxing female voice ever. Unfortunately, AMC more is kind of already a thing that exists, and it's that it's this guy. This little black goopy friend right here? Yeah, that, that's him. But if you wanted a female voice to read this to you in a relaxing tone, all you need to do is just ask. <laughs> Writing prompt. They say you can sneak almost anywhere openly if you wear a safety vest and carry a ladder. A group of heroes trying to infiltrate the Demon King's castle end up using that trick. <sighs> You know, the key to getting over imposter syndrome is to know everyone else is an imposter too. Tell yourself you deserve a stake in the claim they're all running. Um, excuse me, but this is fucking brilliant. Did, did you just cure imposter syndrome with spite? You can cure a lot with spite. I accidentally submitted my English paper with the title, I PISSED ON THE MOON! It's too late to take it back. Whenever anyone compliments my name, I have to stop myself from saying, Thanks, I chose it myself. What if you did, though? Does anyone else occasionally come across blogs in your dash that you 100% do not remember following? Yes, what the fuck? One does not remember time itself, for it has become a part of everyday life. And yet you still startle when you see me on your dash like a stranger in the mist. Fool. Do the dead forget life? Did you forget whose follow you laid at my feet like an offering to a false god? It was yours. Do not feign ignorance. It was Star Wars smut. You okay, SpongeBob? I'm not fucking playing with you, you son of a bitch! Hey, Neil Gaiman, what's your opinion on spoons? They are much better than forks for drinking soup with. Thanks, Neil Gaiman. We drink boba tea to satisfy our ancient and innate urge to slurp up tadpoles from a puddle through a reed. No, we absolutely do fucking not. Ugh, it's always you murdered your husband for this fortune in his land, and you're a monster, and never your black silk morning gown looks nice, or was the poisoning fun? It looked like fun. God. Drink my concoction, boy. Drink my boy concoction. T testosterone And if you thought of something else, <laughs> you gotta like, comment, and subscribe. Those are the rules, dirty boy. Sometimes I forget there's straight people on here. There's what? Straight people are just old wives' tale made up to scare children! No, I swear, I've seen them myself! In the fog! Reject edgy rogues with dead parents. Embrace goofy, chaotic, neutral greaseballs that slink around and steal things for fun. Their tragic backstory is just being a little shit. Have you or a horse you love been injured in a Plinko-related accident? You may be entitled to compensation. Call now, 1-888-435-6377. Now this is advertising. Okay, has anyone called that number? I did. It's the Elmer's Glue customer service line. <laughs> Jesus 